is going on guys? We're gonna come to this video. My name is indeed Kyle Gruber, and today I'll be reviewing Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. And now I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I watched each one of the movies at least 20 times. Like every year I binge the movies twice. Every year, twice a year, I watch them and I love them to death. So I was really excited to see this movie. And I'm pleased to say I really do like this movie. I mean, it does have its flaws. Let me start off with the flaws really quick. Because, I mean, there's one big one, and that's really it for me at least. It's the fact that it's a two hour and 15 minute movie. And somehow it still feels like it's very compacted, especially in the middle. In the middle specifically, it feels really compacted because there's so many th different storylines going on at the same time. I mean, like, we got Grindelwald. We got the, the complications between Grim Grindelwald and Dumbledore and Dumbledore in his own story dealing with his grief. You got a Newton Scamander and this weird love triangle going on. Not really a weird love triangle. It's a fake love triangle. I mean, he, he like... This girl thinks he married somebody, and that's not really the case. Then you got the side character, and the side character, the comedic relief guy, like him and his girlfriend, the one that read minds from the first movie. And then, then you got Ezra Miller's character, the guy from the first one. Yeah, the one we all thought was dead. Then you got him dealing with him in the circus, and then you had the circus, and then the, some more animals breaking and uh, like causing havoc. And then you got the Ministry of Magic, and then you got all of them. See what I mean? It's a lot going on. And it it doesn't really feel like a lot until the second act, and it just you really feel it. I'm gonna say that that's my biggest complaint. It's just the fact that they stuffed a little too much in here, and but it, like don't get me wrong, by the end of the movie, it all comes to fruition. It all is solved, and it feels better. I'm telling you, if I watch this a second, third, fourth time, it's gonna be as if like it's not that overwhelming. It's just as a first time viewer, like for the movie. It's very, very, very overwhelming. Now, let me talk about why some people are going to be a little disappointed. Uh, so certain people, it's going to be boring. That's not what I'm here to talk about. But, like, yeah, certain people, it's going to be boring. I was fascinated by the movie. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I found that the lore was, like, being added to Harry Potter. But, no, the, what, the reason why I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed with the movie is because Dumbledore is only in the movie for, like, 10 minutes of, in the movie. And the, the movie's two hours and 15 minutes, roughly. And... To certain people, that's not a lot of time with Dumbledore. And I'm like, to be fair, he was never a, in the Harry Potter movies a lot to begin with. Um, and especially that this doesn't really center around Hogwarts. I mean, it's just, he's just there. I mean, don't get me wrong, when he's on screen, I loved him. I don't hate it. The fact that he's only in the movie 10 minutes, it makes sense to me. I, I see where they're going for. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I see what, what they're going for. And I'm going to just enjoy the ride. and Because I can tell you this right now. In future installments, we're going to see a lot more Dumbledore. Now let's talk about Grindelwald really quick. Grindelwald, I really, really enjoyed. What we've seen in the first uh, Fantastic Beast movie. Taking on like, what, it was like 30 guys? And he was like not even breaking a sweat. And then it took a freaking random creature to take him down. Like, that's, that's scary. Like, and then we see another version like that when he breaks out of prison. That's not a spoiler because, I mean... The movie centers around him, and he was in the first movie, he was captured, so gotta think a little bit. And when he breaks out, it's really, really intense. Like, that entire sequence, I think, it was like 10, 15 minutes long, and I was just drawn, glued to the screen. I was just so fascinated, and that's what is important for movies. Like, if you're not drawn in the first 15 minutes of the movie, the movie is gonna lose you. And it's it's true. I, I will say that every single review if I have to to get that into people's heads. The first 15 minutes are so crucial to a movie. And they picked a perfect thing to start off the movie with Grindelwald escaping prison. And it's just amazing. I love the sequence a lot. And he has a very specific wand. Harry Potter fans, you'll know which one I'm talking about. The ones who've seen the movie, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. It's a very specific, powerful wand that makes you even think like, how the hell are they going to beat him? I mean, it's a prequel, so we know he loses, but it makes you really think, doesn't it? That about covers it. The plot is very engaging. I'll say that right up front. The plot is really engaging. If you are a massive Harry Potter fan and you like learning about the lore, I think you are going to love this movie, but there's certain Harry Potter fans who are just not going to like this movie. I love Grindelwald with his his magical power, like how powerful he is. He's got he's got the power of influence. The fact that he just t talk to somebody for 15 minutes and get him to their, his side, I think that's awesome. And like that's something that uh, Voldemort that didn't really have. He's got he had the power. He just didn't have the power of influence. Now the fact that we're dealing with some of that. Is kind of scary. I'm going to rate this movie 3.5 out of 5 stars. I would like to hear your thoughts down below, guys. Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? I would like to hear your thoughts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gums underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and crap. Later, and goodbye.